Yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna yell. I'm not gonna get too loud. We're in the blind and I'm not trying to be loud right now, but uh, third and final hunt in South Dakota. Dry filled mallards again. A frame this time. When I say again, believe me, it makes me really happy to say again because in Kansas, we don't get these type of field mallard hunts. But we got some goose decoys out. Uh huh. We got all the mallard full bodies out yet again. Are you ready? I am ready. My battery was not ready. <laughs> My battery. <laughs> Did you charge it last night? Uh, no, but I had three other ones. So. <laughs> Like always, check out that South Dakota sunrise. This is the first morning hunt. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Not very cold. What's the temperature at, Rick Dog? Uh, 26, 27. Man, it feels pretty warm. Yeah. Considering the first day. A lot day warmer like, than the first few days. <laughs> yeah, the first That's day was sure. like negative 11. Yeah. But this is a view out of the blind. Like I said, big old frozen. I'd say a big sheet water. That ain't really a lake. Honkers, any honk? You did say there were some honkers, right? Yep, yep. Honkers, ducks. South Dakota's treating us good. Flatland, big shout out to Flatland and Alex. Uh, you guys are amazing. Big shout out to Federal for uh, for just having me up here, paying for the whole deal, having the wife come up with me. Awesome people. Get ready. I'm ready. I'm just ready. Just get ready. It's gonna fly. You know it. There he is. Oh, Maybe oh, get him. Oh. Oh, shoot him. <laughs> oh, shoot him. <laughs> Nice shot up yes. there! Nice! There we go. First bird down a widgeon. Got a widgeon down. Nice! Yeah. Heck I yeah. guess that black background is not... Oh, that's a good dog. Oh, I think we just scared some honks off the uh, lake ahead of us here. First shot of the day. I would, didn't expect it to fire up so fast. Definitely gonna film with the uh, big camera here for a little bit. It's pretty dark for the old GoPro, you know. You, you know the deal. Shoot him! Yeah. Nice! Got them both down. Get shooting down on the right side. You're gonna have to pick up a gun soon and <laughs> put down the camera. <laughs> Just say. Okay, I will. Boy, howdy, is that a lot of snow geese? It's a good old sight to see, let me tell you. And the sun just popped out. Perfect timing. Well, it's time to roll. We're gonna start uh, spraying and praying. I've had a lot of comments about people saying, you shouldn't say spray and pray. Look guys, it's a joke. You shouldn't just spray and pray, obviously. It's just a joke. But, let's roll. <laughs> I don't have to blow my call today again. I don't have to run my dog, I'm bored. Get him in here, Ricky, get him in here. <laughs> now back on your right shoulder, gonna come to the top, right here. Kill him, guys. I was like, yeah, I guess I'll go out the back. <laughs> yeah, the snows didn't even get up. There we go. Your boy's first bird down. Smash that thumbs up button. Come on now. <laughs> young Drake and two Susie Q's. I'll guarantee you what, that, that young Drake looks more like a Susie Q than a Susie Q. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of young Drakes still. Brown necks, brown heads, and... It's kind of hard to tell if they're a hen sometimes, not going to lie. <laughs> Come on back. Come
doing, <laughs> doing circles. Doing circles around the blind. Mm -hmm. Look at him. He's went around us about three times. I'd love to get a white bird down. That would be pretty snazzy. Oh, all the snow's got up. Wow. How many full bodies do you have out right now? 20 dozen. 20 dozen? <clears throat> wow. I guess it don't look like it because they're so tight. But that's how they, I mean, that's how it is up here, you know? Always tight. That's how we yeah. like it. <laughs> What time is it? What time um, you got, Court? Uh, 9.12. 9.12. It's warming up. Birds should be flying here soon. There's on the water out here. A bunch of water's opened up. Uh, there's a lot of ducks sitting on it. But when they decide to get off the water, the show should begin. Got some widgeons down. Got a few Susies. Uh, but you guys have been asking a ton in the comments down below what choke and what shot size I'm using and why. Okay? So first off, Got the old Carlson cremator on there. That is a ported long range choke. Um, any beginners out there, you're always asking what you should get. Um, if you wanna get into the full choke game, do it and just stick with it. Don't, don't, my one piece of advice, don't keep changing chokes. Put one in your gun and kinda just use it for everything. Whether it's dove hunting, whether it's duck, goose, just get used to that one choke. Shot size today. I cannot stop using these. This is a one shot, one and eight, ounce and an eighth. Uh, look at that, 1635 feet per second. You don't have to lead them very far with that shell. It's so fast that it just, I'm loving the one shot. Oh, and a lot of you have been asking, you know, if you have a pattern master, you can't use uh, Black Cloud. Well, go ahead and read this. New flight control flex wad works in all chokes. It's been fixed. It works now. Yeah, look, Court, she's using a pattern master. And guess what? Birds are dying. <laughs> when when my shot is correct. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on now. Up again. Well, the sun is out in full force. <laughs> Sun's out, mojos are just flaking, baby. Another four up top, all green. That's Susie's. She's doing she's treading on thin ice. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> we turned make four turned around. <laughs> Just barking at them. Sounds awesome. We have a feed of snows. How many are you thinking? Oh, I don't know. 3,000 maybe? Three to 5,000 maybe. Uh, behind us, I don't know, half a mile, three quarter mile, a mile, I don't know. Too close. But uh, yeah, they're too close. Too and y'all know the deal. It, yeah, they, they need to be a lot farther away. But competing with a uh, huge feed of snows. Sounds like a knee collars behind us. You know how it goes. It's hard to compete. He got a double tappy right there, that boy did. Nice shooting. Let's go. Hey, that's a good shot right there. That's just that's just a straight up kakish. There we go. Yeah, That's shine. nice. We're going to move the blind back. Look okay, yep, let's move the blind back. 
Well, we're going to shove the A-frame back about 10-15 yards here, see if it helps. Get this shadow away from the decoys. I think it's a good call. See if it helps. Now we can go farther if you want. Okay. Thank you. That's that's your go-to. Jet fuel. Jet fuel. Uh, so hold on. What a fruit roll-ups. Hold on a minute. What do you got in here, dude? Oh my goodness! They're all gummies and gummies and black clouds. Yep. <laughs> Not a better combination. <laughs> Jet fuel. Your right side. Ooh, that's a lot of ducks. Susie up top. You know what I'm about to do. I'm going to come at you with some excuses, okay? First thing, uh, moving the blind, automatic better reaction. And I just shot with the old gloves on, so I took them off. Let's see if I can do a little better. Go, guys. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him. Nice! Go. Nice! That, that took some work! I forgot to reload from my last Three one! Three shots? But with the 20 gauge, that's what's up! They're using both, uh, both of them got 20 gauges uh, down yonder there. That's all we can shoot. We're just putting these in. I'm gonna have to bleep that out. On your side, right side. Kill him, guys! Oh, I got the behind every Got time. one. Got one. There's a lot of snows behind us. I mean, a ton. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Just waiting for him to float over, you know. Well, we're ready. Okay, okay. Got a, uh, it's done. I think we ended it with eight birds. Uh, not too shabby, you know. Morning hunts, they're not as quick and fast as the afternoon hunts. Everybody's leaving in the afternoon, so all we had was a morning to shoot. It was good, though. A lot of fun. A lot of memories made yet again, but uh, I got to get back to the lodge because we have some bad news and I don't know what I'm gonna do to do about it <sighs> okay about the dilemma okay so the first day on the first hunt it was an afternoon hunt and long story short I was in a rush I had my uh, bibs on and I grabbed our rental car keys threw them in my pocket because <clears throat> I thought I was gonna have to drive I didn't end up driving to the field I jumped in Dan's, you met Dan, he's already gone. That's part of the problem. My keys for the rental car fell out and now he's all the way back in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah, so I have no rental car keys. We're about an hour and 15 minutes away from the airport. Luckily we figured it out. He found them, he's gonna overnight them to the airport and Flatland is gonna shuttle us there, come back uh, with the spare keys get the rental take it back and then come back just another thing uh you know flatland the hunting is great right but they take care of their customers like they're not gonna let you go hanging they're not gonna let you leave stressed out they're not gonna make you figure it out on your own they have connections with the airports with all the rent of cars uh people avis enterprise all that stuff and they will take care of you when they call they already know the person at the desk and they know their names unreal the the these people the rough here at flatland I'm trying to get my words straight is i hope to one day be able to provide an experience i'm going to do my best in in my guiding to to provide an experience somewhat relatable to this but what they do here is special i have never been taken care of somewhere so well 
ever. No hotel, no, no, no nothing. No cruise ship, no destination vacation. This is the top of the line. Again, like I've, I've been telling you guys, look into coming. If you're looking to go somewhere and you're, you want to expect quality in everything you do, you know, nobody can, can always promise to kill birds. I can't, nobody can. But if you want to expect to be taken care of and treated like family, check out Flatland Flyways here in Hecla, South Dakota. You will not be disappointed. Oh, and by the way, the locker room, the floors are heated. So when you come in from your hunt and your feet are still frozen to the bone, you rip your boots off and you just put your bare feet right on the floor and you're like, oh, it's so nice. The bathroom floors, same thing, heated. It's an amazing spot, guys. Woo, well, back home. We made it home. We got the uh, rental car all taken care of. And uh, I'll tell you what, crawling in bed with my kids last night, that was so nice. Uh, a lot of these trips, you know, <clears throat> I go without Beth. And that being said, I know mama's home taking care of my kids. Now, <clears throat> my parents always watch my kids when, when we're both gone and, and they do an amazing job. But just when both parents are away, you know, from your kids like that, man. The last night that we stayed at uh, Flatland, I had two nightmares about my kids just because it had caught up with me. You know, both me and Beth are not home. It was hot. <laughs> it was awful to say the least, but we're at home. We're scouting and we are loaded up with the geese. We have a bunch of ducks too. Gerald and I just met on the dirt road. Gerald has Archer, his dog. Yeah, he finally got Archer back from the trainer. The trainer was in New York. His dog was in New York all summer long and he looks like a stud muffin. He is a stud muffin. He's a freaking bull. But we got a lot going on guys, uh, building all the decoys at the lodge. We're finishing up, putting appliances in the lodge and uh, clients roll in on the 9th. So I'm not sure when this video will go up, either today or tomorrow, but I hope you guys really enjoyed the trip. I had an absolute blast. It was, uh, it was pretty nice getting taken care of that well up at Flatland. I'm telling you what, it's amazing people, amazing place. Woo, been working our butts off, me and Gerald. We're getting ready to go grab some lunch. I wanna show you this though. Oh, check out the trailer. All the new dive bombs are in here. Oh, uh -huh. oh yeah. We got the A-frames in here. We're getting ready. Tomorrow is opening day in Kansas. Duck, goose, opens. Everything. Snows, specs. It's about to be on, y'all. I want you guys to stick around. If you guys are uh, liking the videos, uh, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up. But more importantly, uh, subscribe. Because, because South Dakota was a blast, but getting back home and having birds here, just gets my heart racing. We've been working our butts off here. Again, big shout out to Federal for providing this hunt and Alex Russo at Flatland Flyways for always providing such a great experience for not only me, but for all his clients. Awesome, awesome teamwork makes the dream work, let me tell you. But subscribe if you haven't. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see on these waterfowl hunts. But until next time. Kill him, guys. Oh, <laughs>